Hello, Veronica Spriggs here, and we're going to get started right off the heels of our last tutorial, which was applying a soft ethereal effect to your photographs. And now what I'm going to show you how to do is apply that same effect, but only to a portion of the image. Um, when you're working with this effect, sometimes it works beautifully on an entire image and sometimes you may want to localize it so that you can apply it to only a portion of your image, leaving the rest of your image sharp and crisp and in focus. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. It's really simple. You're going to start off exactly where we left off from before. If you'll remember, we had created a duplicate layer and set that to soft light. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn that off. And then you have your original image, your smart filters, the Gaussian blur and the halftone pattern. So what we're going to do is click directly on our smart filters mask and then we're going to go up to edit fill and then we're going to use black if you toggle this down you'll see foreground background color if your background if your foreground color is set to black you can go ahead and use that same with the background color um, you can select a custom color here but in this case since we're just going to be working with a mask we're going to set it to black and check OK and now once that's blacked out you can see that our filters have disappeared they're no longer in effect and we're working once again on our original image OK so the first thing that we're going to do is click here on our smart filters mask make sure you see a little highlight around that so that you know you're going to be working directly on the mask now we're going to select a brush and you want to make sure you're working with a very soft brush so go ahead and set your hardness down to zero which mine already is and then you're going to set the diameter of your brush depending on the size of the image that you're working on and the size of the area that you're going to work on that's going to determine the size of your brush um, I'm going to go I think I think this is good so I say okay and make sure that your color your foreground color is set to white because you're going to be um, basically erasing this black and replacing it with white so you're going to now paint I had my brush opacity set really low and I forgot to change it back even though I told myself not to so make sure your opacity is at 100 percent and now you're going to begin filling in and painting with your brush on the areas that you want to apply the effect to. And in this case, I'm going to apply it only to his skin. Now you want to use your mask here on your layers panel just to make sure that you're not leaving any holes as this can be kind of hard to see so if you see a little area that isn't completely filled in you know that you want to try and uh, find that area and fill it in with your paintbrush so you can see that the effect is being applied to his skin now I'm going to add it as well to his arms and leg Now if you wanted to apply the effect to the entire um, person or image or whatever you're working on, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to add just a little bit to his shirt. And here's a chance where I can go ahead and lower my opacity a little bit. So I'm going to add the effect somewhat on his shirt, but not as much as I did 
to the face and skin areas. And there you have it. You now have the effect. It's been applied to only a portion of the skin. And I'll go ahead and turn that off so you can see. There you have it. The effect has been completed. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And if I turn that back on, now you can see again that we have just softened his skin tone and the some of the shirt area but just a little bit less and if I turn on my soft light I've softened up my background just a little and brought back in the ethereal effect but I've applied it more so to the subject itself and that's how you work with smart filters and applying your filters to only a segment of a photograph this is one great trick and I'm sure you'll find many uses for it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and see you next time.